Hey everyone, get a Sean here. So as you guys may know, Honkai Star Rail will be collaborating with Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works in the summer of 2025. Due to this announcement, there, of course, have been a lot of hype around it. Not only for Star Rail players, but for Fate fans, FGO players, Type Moon fans in general. Due to this announcement, it has resurrected the conversation regarding if Fate Grand Order should collaborate outside of Type Moon. As FGO players know, the game has never collaborated with IPs outside of Type Moon for the past 9 years. I'm sure all the gacha games you can think of have collaborated with different IPs at least once. If you think about it, it's really amazing to be able to still go strong without collaborating with any other IPs. A collaboration is something that is supposed to boost sales and attract new players, but FGO is able to reach 9 years without even doing that once and is able to always get back on the top of the sales charts. That is actually really impressive. Now, there are two factions regarding this topic. There is the group that refuses collaborations with IPs outside of Type Moon and those who want to see collaborations with non-Type Moon IPs. The reason why the community is divided by this is because those who refuse the outside IP collaborations don't want the story of FGO to get messed up. Let's get this straight. The reason why we play FGO is for the deep lore of the story and the amazing characters. In order for FGO to invite characters, from popular anime and video games, a plausible in-game explanation will need to be created. Why are these anime characters able to be summoned? Are they pseudo-servants? How can a world that doesn't exist in real life exist? Etc. Etc. To be honest, the world of FGO or the world of the Nasuverse is already a huge cluster. I personally thought it was a bit too much when FGO decided to make actual gods into servants, but eventually accepted it. And then of course there's the whole servant verse universe conversation. That being said, if I were to choose a side, I would be on the side of no outside collaborations. FGO has proven it can survive without the help of other IPs, but at the same time, I do kind of want to see how it would look like to see Saber fighting against characters from like Final Fantasy, Grand Blue, Trails, etc. But again, it's probably for the best not to happen. But what do you guys think? Do you think FGO should collaborate? Let me know in the comment section below.